What's going on guys, it's Michael MGF, and today I'm going to be doing another custom LEGO minifigure showcase video, and for this video I've got a spin-off minifigure from the original Guardians of the Galaxy showcase video, Yondu Udanta, a highly requested minifigure that a lot of you guys wanted to see me make, and a minifigure that I was not going to make, but then I saw the movie a couple times when I was at Brick Fair, and uh, I was like, okay, yeah, that character was too awesome for me not to make, and uh, so I knew what my spin-off minifigure for, this mini for, the for that showcase would be, and uh... Here he is. I made it happen. Here's our lead Ravager, our blue Michael Rooker, Yondu Udanta in Lego, and uh, I am really happy with the end result, and there's a lot to be seen with this minifigure, so definitely stick around, and let's get a better look at him. Alright, so like I already said, I didn't really talk about Yondu at all in my vlogs, so, so therefore you didn't really get an idea of the process, but uh, that's why I'll do my best to mention it a little bit here, and we can start off by saying that uh, the skin tone was uh, the very first thing I decided with making Yondu, that I was going to go with a medium blue, because uh, painting the skin tone wasn't really the direction I wanted to take with my Yondu, so I knew that medium blue would, would look just as awesome, so that's what I used here with my Yondu minifigure for his blue skin tone, And uh, but the number one uh, problem that I faced with starting out Yondu was the color of his outfit. It's a mix of dark brown and dark red, but uh, I had to find the balance between the two, so what I did was the torso and legs are fully dark brown, along with the arms, while the coat that he wears, the trench coat, is uh, a full dark brown as well, but with dark red tints. If you look at it, you'll notice it is not a full dark brown. It has a lot of different red uh, tints running through it, and uh, that was something I made sure I wanted to have, was that balance between the two colors that Yondu sports with his Ravager outfit, because uh, obviously Obviously his Ravager outfit is much more seasoned because obviously he's the leader of the Ravagers so he's been doing this a lot longer than the majority of them so therefore his outfit isn't as red anymore and uh, so that's that, and uh, his face was the first thing I painted, though. Uh, the first thing I, I well, that I was thinking about with uh, making Yondu, obviously, was the mohawk. So what I did was I sculpted the mohawk first and then painted the face, because there's no way in hell I was going to waste my time painting a full face and then screw up the, the mohawk. Um, so I don't really know if you'd call it a mohawk, but I guess that's what we're going to call it here. The mohawk that he uses to control his arrow, because uh, obviously this is what he uses to control his arrow, which is made out of the Yaka uh, metal, which could, because this is what controls it. it. It's a whole thing. You can look it up. But um, yeah, so the Mohawk was sculpted out of green stuff, and uh, green stuff is what I used on uh, my buddy Groot over here, and uh, so it, it, it green stuff works works really well, especially for simple things like this. The Mohawk wasn't nearly that challenging to do as it was to make Groot, um, but you'll notice that it does have a pretty nice share of uh, black outlining running through it, uh, just to be accurate to his appearance, he, you know, his Mohawk's appearance in the film, such as the little line here and the outline of the entire thing, along with a little slit of black on the side and uh, the face was then what I went straight for painting once I finished the mohawk and uh, it looks really awesome and I think this looks just like Michael Rooker. I am really happy with the result but it was not easy to achieve. That mouth gave me one hell of a hard time and uh, after I think about three or four tries I finally got the mouth right and then uh, after adding the wrinkles and the eyebrows and everything need be uh, you know I knew that the beard was going to look a little bit weird because obviously just blue hairs was, was going to look a little strange so as I was going through my reference pictures, I looked at the Yondu uh, from Mini Mates, and I saw they use white streaks running through the beard. So I was like, you know, that actually looks really awesome. So I gave it a go on mine, and it ended up looking really awesome and making his beard look that much more defined. And now I'm kind of regretting not doing that for my Beast minifigure from X Men: Days of Future Past. So. Yeah, now uh, one thing I do, now I do want to go over the coat first so that we can get a better look at the torso and legs. So starting off with uh, the fact that he has the three darts on uh, the left side of his coat. And the darts are actually ti repurposed tiny tactical glow sticks. And uh, they are really, really small. And uh, it, it, it's not that easy because each one of these little darts had to be inserted into this little black uh, post. And uh, so basically you have to insert them in, into three little tiny microscopic slots. And uh, it was teeth but it ended up looking really awesome and working out really well and those are painted in gold with a slight tint of tan as well and uh, so we go ahead and bend the uh, arms back just a bit so that you can get a better look at all the details that his coat has going on here you can see he's got the ravager symbol as well painted in gold and that was definitely something I knew would have to be there and be as defined as I could get it not to mention all these little details right here as well and uh, then you also have uh, the uh, little like buckle coming down from uh, underneath the dart along with a few other little details beneath that and uh, his coat turned out awesome and my god this minifigure would be nothing without it so uh yeah now we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove the coat so we can get a better look at the torso legs and uh, the dart that is holding his famous arrow 
All right, so here he is without his trench coat, and uh, it uh, it definitely reveals quite a bit. There's a lot to be seen underneath that trench coat. There's nothing on his back or the back of his legs, but uh, I mean, there is the continuation of the boots, just, you know, nothing really uh, worth showing. And uh, so the torso was based off of the mini mate uh, minifigure as well, and uh, it just it, it was really accurate based on what I was comparing it to the reference picture, so I ended up going with that, along with obviously my own different uh, touches and a lot of different, uh, you know, different designs that uh, different design changes that I made myself and uh, one detail I do want to point out is this little checkered uh, silver plating right on this pocket here that is definitely worth noting it it's, it's it has about uh, two th four lines running through it so uh, it's pretty cool and it turned out looking awesome that little detail because I just want to note on that and um, yes yeah, so other than that though the torso is about as accurate as I could get it to Yondu's appearance in uh, the Ravager coat that he does wear you can see uh, his clothing from underneath showing through a little bit here the various different little straps and buckles it's all there and about as accurate as I could get it and uh, then right on his belt there along with the different details that I have on his belt like such as the belt buckle and uh, the continuation of the coat you'll notice that he's got the arrow holster right there and uh, basically the way this works I've got my arrow stuck in my base plate here that I have this on uh, here's the arrow now the arrow is literally just a brick forge arrow with the bottom cut off and then you've got a uh, red stripe on the very right like right beneath the arrow head with a orange uh, stripe running through it to make it look like it's sort of like glowing and uh, yeah yeah, that's all I really could do with Yondu's arrow because obviously there's no reason he should hold it because he just whistles and the thing flies right out of his pouch. There's no reason for him to hold it. So uh, that's why it is the way it is. And uh, that is also why he can have it in his holster right here on the front of his belt. And the way this works is uh, basically just like so. If I can just, there we go, right in. And it goes in really smooth as you just saw. And it works really awesome and it's completely hidden once you put the trench coat over it, as you guys have already seen. So uh, the arrow holster was definitely something I knew I would have to have with my Yondu. And then uh, if you go ahead and bend up his legs a little bit, you can see all the different details that I added on uh, the legs, such as these uh, tan stripes and all all these different little details and uh, the boots obviously have a little bit of weathering going on that's why they you know they're a little bit dark and you can pretty much see the weathering I'm talking about but uh, the legs while there isn't a ton going on it still looks accurate and I love the little details right in the center of the legs those look those ended up looking really awesome but I mean other than that though all there is left to talk about is this arm here and how it's got the 3d gauntlet and the 3d gauntlet was uh, something I knew I had to do right from the start as soon as I saw it when I saw that gauntlet I was like oh great let's pull out the shipping labels and uh, get cutting because uh, that's what the, the, usually my, the 3D aspects of my minifigures are made out of our shipping labels so that's what I did here and obviously it's uh, sort of like a gold slash brown slash you know like more of a gold weathered with brown color if you will and uh, it's got a little blade right underneath there as well which is also a shipping label and uh, it's definitely a pretty awesome detail and uh, definitely the favorite one all, my, all the details that I added with this minifigure such as the arrow holster gauntlet mohawk and uh, darts really make this minifigure stand out along with all the the details that you see that I painted on here. So other than that though, that is pretty much it for Yondu Udanta, and I really hope you enjoyed the showcase video, guys, and uh, hopefully it won't be my last Guardians of the Galaxy minifigure, but if it is, I am definitely more than proud of this one, and uh, hopefully you guys are too. So uh, that's about it, and uh, let's go ahead and wrap this up. I ain't gonna beg. Wait, what? Cut. Damn it, I need to get my shit together. Alright guys, and that about wraps up the showcase video on my custom Lego Yondu Udanta from Guardians of the Galaxy, and uh, yeah, so this kind of happened unexpectedly, but uh, I'm still really glad that it did though, because uh, this minifigure turned out to be everything I had imagined in the first place, I mean, especially the 3D aspects that I have going on with Yondu, such as his mohawk darts, 3D gauntlet, and holster, uh, it just, it, it all, it, it worked. I didn't have any real major struggle with making this minifigure, so it was just a real uh, you know, it was just a real thrill for me to make Yondu and uh, see him come out and, uh, you know, see him come out looking uh, this awesome. So hopefully you guys agree. And if you do, be sure to let me know by dropping this video a like below and or your opinion in the comments as uh, both of which definitely mean a lot and uh, definitely mean go a long way. And uh, if I see enough of a rise with Yondu here and you guys want me to make more Guardians minifigures, it's not totally out of the question. I mean, maybe a Korath and a Nova Prime. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, yeah, those are still ones that I'm considering for the future. If, if I end up, you know, 
deciding with that. But uh, yeah, it's deciding with that. Does that make sense? Probably not. But uh, yeah, you can also follow me on the Twitter and the book face links. Both of those are always in the description down below as well. And uh, there I post all kinds of behind the scenes photos and updates of what I'm up to and what's to come for my channel, such as minifigures like these, which I actually didn't post any behind the scenes photos or updates with because uh, it just didn't happen that way. But usually I do. And uh, that's why I definitely recommend those in the description down below. But uh, other than that though, guys, that is it for Yondu Udanta. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'll catch you guys later. All right. Bye. just came out into reality here. I just, I, if that, if that, does that sound right? That really doesn't sound right. It's time we taste some Terran. Yourself inspired to make your own Yandu do. Damn it, I was pretty close to that. I am really happy with the end result, by the way. It's just, uh, I've already mentioned that several times throughout the showcase video. I don't think anybody needs to hear it more. What's gonna, wait, I already did the intro. I'm doing the outro now, gosh damn it. Hey, what's with the sunglasses? I always wear sunglasses. No, you don't. Okay, okay, I'm sorry.